What up, homies? Welcome back, Conspiracy University. All right, so today I want to go over this uh, these group of people here that they are. They're called the Sea Nomads, right? Well, it's like a slang term for them, the Sea Nomads out of out of the Philippines. But you know, it's a very, very a good thing to look into, and you know, it it doesn't hurt to sometimes pick up some knowledge here and there from time to time, right? But I definitely do want you to come take a look at this because it shows a lot and has a lot to do with the uh, evolution, right? And how the human body can evolve to adapt to its environment, like regardless of the situation, whether, you know, on water or land. And these people here are a very, very prime example. So, you know, I'm not going to actually read this uh, article, but I'm just pulling it up here on the page. That way, you know, if y'all want to go and check it out or y'all can get a source to go look at it real quick. But some key things that I do want to tell y'all. Let me see. I got my notes here. So these people here, they lived on sea boats, right? They live on, I'm, I'm sorry, they live on houseboats. They do not stay on the land, like, at all. They live on houseboats. They hold their breath longer than anyone else in the world. So there is this particular family of these sea nomads. And there's two brothers. I'm not sure as far as, like, all the other ones who are sea nomads. But this particular family, those two brothers actually did go up against, like, some of the best Navy SEALs and it's all documented, right? So they did hold their breath longer than anyone else. Let me see. They, uh, they, they do spend hours a day underwater, like when they're hunting and stuff. They still use spears, y'all. They still sharpen up their spears, and they jump down to the bottom of the water using only, like, some, some BS-type goggles made out of, like, wood, right? And weights. They tie weights around them and jump down, and they still hunt with... They still hunt for food with spears. So they have evolved... To have different spleens and an oxygen oxygen metabolism, right? So their spleens have become larger, which is evolution, right? These people evolved because their family have lived on the on the sea for so long that their bodies evolved to adapt to it to be able to survive longer. Uh, see, they, oh, they do have uh, that same family that I spoke of that uh, the brothers held their breath longer than anyone else in the world. Those two brothers are also considered the, the world's best free divers. Like, there's been uh, times that the CIA or the FBI, I'm not sure which one of the government agencies, well, I'm sorry, I'm not sure which one of these agencies contacted those two brothers, but they've actually been sought out to do, like, some type of free diving jobs for them. You know, they declined them. Let me see what else I have here. Oh, I guess that's about it, y'all. I thought I had more notes on this, but, oh, one other thing. This actually happened not too well, it's long ago, but within the last three to 5,000 years, this, actually, this has actually happened and occurred. So if you really think about it, we can, uh, if we really, really wanted to, for our future generations, we can start doing a certain thing and potentially evolve our bodies to be able to adapt and survive in more harsh conditions, you know, whether it's more extreme heat or extreme cold, you know, something along those lines. But definitely, y'all, y'all should look into this. And it's some good knowledge to have. And as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all who come over here and rock with me. Y'all keep your eyes open out there, homies. Stay safe.